Hello students, continuing with the lecture series for physics lab. Today we will be discussing the experimental setup of polarimeter. Please subscribe to the channel in order to keep getting regular updates on your subject. Let us begin. What is the aim of our experiment here? The aim is to find the specific rotation of an optically active substance. In our case, we have been given cane sugar or sugar solution with the help of polarimeter. In our experimental setup, we will be using Lorentz half shade polarimeter. And other apparatus required will be a sodium vapor lamp, a thermometer to take the room temperature, graduated jar for preparing my cane sugar solution and distilled water. Now, we need polarimeter tube which will be of 20 centimeter length, the sodium vapor lamp as our light source. Short, I will explain the apparatus to you. We will take the source of light. It will get incident on Nicole prism, which will act as a polarizer. The light will pass through the half shade device kept in our Laurent half shade polarimeter. After that, it will pass through polarimeter tube, which is first filled with distilled water. Then in the second observation table, we will take two or three concentrations of sugar solution which we will put in this tube and then this light will pass through the analyzer and finally we will take a read the angle how much angle we are getting in the reading for distilled water and sugar solution we will subtract the reading of sugar solution from distilled water reading and get how much angle the light has rotated because of the presence of this sugar solution. We will put the value of this angle in the formula for specific rotation and find the value. Formula for specific rotation is equal to 1000 into theta upon length of polarimeter tube into concentration given. So this is our experimental setup. Let us begin the experiment now. A closer look at the apparatus. You can see, you can compare. The source of light is here. This is my polarimeter. This is the half shade device. This is polarimeter tube which is kept. The center is bulged because the biggest precaution of this experiment is that no air bubble should be present in the tube. In case an air bubble comes, we will try to see that it gets set up here at the bulged center and does not disturb our readings because length of polarimeter tube we are taking as 20 centimeter and half shade device. So one time half light component vectors will get to pass and half will be blocked and other time the other half will pass and half get blocked. The moment in between these two positions, a full moon or the position where all light vectors are getting to pass, we will take that reading on the main scale and vernier scale. Let us begin the experiment. We will start by first taking the least count of polarimeter setup. The polarimeter setup one main scale division is equal to one degree and total divisions on the vernier are 10. So least count is value of one main scale division upon total divisions on the vernier scale is equal to 0.1 degree. Length of polarimeter tube 20 centimeter. Room temperature according to whatever temperature we are performing the experiment. We will first read in the observation table first position of the vernier, second position of the vernier, that is main scale reading, vernier scale reading, total reading which is equal to main scale reading plus vernier scale reading into least count. In one observation table, we will do that for distilled water. In the second observation table, we will do it for the various sugar solutions and then find how much angle it has rotated. 
this is the scale which we have to use in our experiment. The outer layer gives us the main scale and the small divisions here are the vernier scale through which we have to find which division is coinciding. Now, a closer look at the main scale, we can see that between 90 degree and 100 degree, there are 10 divisions. So, one division is coming out as 1 degree. And then a closer look at the vernier scale, we find that there are 10 divisions on the vernier. We count the divisions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the least count comes out as one main scale division, 1 degree divided by 10 divisions. So 0 0.1 degree. Next, we will take the readings of the setup. So first, we insert the polarimeter tube with distilled water and first take readings for distilled water. Then first reading will be with distilled water. Then whatever concentration we are being given in the lab. Suppose we have been given 8%, 10% and 12%. So whatever reading we get for 8%, we will subtract it from distilled water. Then we will find how much angle rotated because of the presence of this sugar solution. The same we will do with 10% and 12%. The standard value of specific rotation for sugar solution is 66.6 degree. Now, this is our polarimeter tube. We have filled it with distilled water, inserted it in the setup. Now, we begin to take the readings. Now, we will keep rotating this scale until and unless we don't get a full moon lying between two halves which are getting mutually exchanged. Suppose first reading, we see that the black portion of our scale is coming on the left hand side. We keep rotating it until the black and the, the moons get exchanged and finally we are able to get the position of full moon. The moment the full moon is observed, we will take those readings. So suppose this is the scale which is showing the position of full moon. Now how to read it? Zero of vernier is coinciding with the 20 eighth division of main scale. So my main scale reading is 28 degree. First division of my vernier is coinciding with the main scale. So the VSR is 1. So total reading becomes equal to 28 degree plus first division into least count that is 0.1 degree. So the reading here is 28.1 one degree, my total reading. Let us see another reading with distilled water. See, this is suppose the position of your setup with distilled water where you are observing a full moon through the eyepiece of polarimeter tube. How will you read it? See, 28 degree is the main scale and First division is not coinciding with the main scale. We will leave it. Second division is also not coinciding with the main scale. We will leave that. Third division is also not coinciding with the main scale. But I can see that my fourth division is coming in straight line, the vernier and the main scale. So I will write 4 into least count, that is 0.1. So total reading is main scale reading plus vernier scale reading into least count, which is equal to 28.4 degree. This way we will take two or three readings with distilled water on the first scale. Second, we will rotate this since this is a Laurent half shade polarimeter. So the other set of full moon readings we will get at another half rotation that is 180 degrees. We will check out suppose at this position we get the full moon. So how will we read this reading? 
main scale zero of vernier is coinciding with the 208th division so main scale reading is 208 degree and the very first division of pure vernier and main scales is coinciding so total reading is equal to main scale reading plus vernier scale reading into least count so 208 plus 1 into 0 0.1 degree. I get 208.1. Similarly, we can take another reading and just check out this position. The polarimeter tube is observing a full moon. So reading is for main scale 0 getting coincided at 209. So my main scale reading is 209. The first division of the vernier of lower and upper is coinciding. So 1 into least count so 209.1 degree this way we can see that now how much we can take two three readings more with the sugar solution suppose the reading with eight percent sugar solution at this point we observe the full moon so my main scale reading is 42 degree vernier the first division is coinciding so 42.1 degree let us see how to calculate alpha with this. See, now main scale reading 42 degree, Vernier's first division has coincided. So 42.1. Similarly, at a pi rotation, the main scale reading is 219 and the first division of Vernier has coincided. I will subtract 42, this 42.1 uh, distilled water reading I will subtract from this position of the vernier and I will get how much angle it rotated. Similarly, I will do it with the second position of the vernier. I will subtract the reading of distilled water and finally how much has the solution rotated with 8% concentration is 12.6. This value I will keep in the formula of specific rotation that is alpha is 1000 into 12.6 divided by length of polarimeter tube into concentration here is 8% and I get the angle as 78.75. It is having a high percentage error but we are supposed to write whatever reading we get in the lab. We can later calculate the percentage error. We will check out with another concentration of sugar solution, say 10%. At 10%, the angle of rotation is 13.5 degree. So my specific rotation is 1000 into 13.5 divided by 20 length of polarimeter tube into concentration 10. This time we are getting 67.5 degree, which is approximately close to the standard answer of 66.6 degree. So this is how the reading setup will come for 8%, the other vernier, see 219 and the first division. So now by this time, like with 10% also, look at this. Here you are getting a full moon when sugar solution concentration is 10%. My main scale is coming as 41 degree and my ninth division is coinciding. So 9 into 0.1 and I will subtract these respective readings from the very vernier scale which I got for distilled water and I will get theta. That value of theta I will put in my formula for a specific rotation and I will get the answer and standard value is 66.6 .6 degree per decimeter per gram per meter cube. That is what we have got. We can also plot a graph between the angle of rotation and the concentration of sugar solution. We will choose sugar solution concentration on the x-axis and the angle through which it has rotated on the y-axis. We can keep the scale as y-axis 1 degree and x-axis at 1%. We will draw the respective points, search for a best fit line. That is the maximum number of line 
points that are lying on the straight line. We will find the slope for them that is del y by del x subtracting any two y coordinates and dividing them by difference of any two x coordinates and we can also get the value of alpha as slope into 1000 upon whatever we have got here as the L, L, L here, what uh, we have got. And then the slope comes out as graph is plotted between strength of sugar solution and corresponding uh, y axis and this, and there can be uh, another way of calculating it. The biggest precaution is there should be no air bubble in the tube. The temperature of solution should be recorded and mentioned. Eyepiece of telescope should be focused on the half shade of the device properly. Thank you.